Finally, I will be getting back on the open road. That's what I like to call it. To me, the open road is the road, and you don't know where you're going on it. You can go anywhere, and uh, I don't know where I'm going to be sleeping tonight, tomorrow night. God knows where I'll be in a week. I'm going to be in Florida, I'm be in Wyoming. Awesome. So, I'm getting ready right now, and since it's going to be a lot of hitchhiking, um, definitely a lot of hitchhiking, pretty sure. I got to fill this guy up. So, I got my water filter here, and I just uh, got a pot of water going, so I can filter that into there, because the water here is a little milky and sketchy. Um, of course, got to fill that guy up. <laughs> this whiskey or rum, probably whiskey. And uh, it's not much, it doesn't look like much, but uh, sip, sip here and there, it's pretty good. So, I'm going to do that, pretty much packed, I'm always packed. I'm going to go and get some peanut butter and some bread, hopefully not break the bank on that, and that, and pocket full of change. I think I got maybe eight bucks after I buy my Metro card and the bread and the peanut butter, and that will get me westward. And I think I'm headed west, so let's see what happens. Alright, now that's done. Uh, I'll put a quick rundown of what I got in my pack. This is my main pack right here. I've seen it before. Um, in there, the bulk of it is a winter jacket and a sleeping bag. That's what's in there now. Plus uh, a few shirts, a pair of shorts, even a bathing suit, actually. Uh, Button-down shirt, socks, a uh, little shovel for building sandcastles. Um, then I have cooking pot, which I always wonder whether I should have or not, but it's become useful. Uh, water filter, of course, which I just used. And this is my day pack, which uh, fits inside that pack, but has most of my uh, toiletry crap in there, and of course my uh, laptop there. And uh, that's it. That's all I need. And it should be the lightest it's ever been this trip around, I think. We'll see once I actually put it on. Bus money, that'll be gone soon. So I just got into uh, State College, Pennsylvania, and I might be meeting up with a couch surfer, or she might have fallen asleep. I'm at a 24 hour Walmart, so cool. So I couch surf here in a State College, PA, last night, and uh, now I'm trying to catch a ride out of here. Got my first ride already. Got my first ride already. Uh, 30 miles to Clearview or Clearfield. So hopefully I'll get another ride before this ominous, ominous looking rain kicks in. Alright, it's been maybe 30, 40 minutes. Really not looking like a good spot. And I know the next exit is supposedly not for 7 miles. But I think I'm going to walk it and hope for the best. Uh, before I got to walking, I got picked up. Taking out of 30, 30 ish miles, 40 miles on it. Uh, Du Bois, Pennsylvania. Going to the on rent. Uh, I've been waiting over an hour, so again, I'm gonna walk it. Um, so you know those, those trucks that carry a bunch of cars, like, like the flatbed, double-deckers? Yeah, I'm sleeping in one of those cars right now. <laughs> it is awesome. Uh, when I started walking, not even two miles, dude stopped in the truck full of cars. Um, probably ran like a hundred yards because it took him a while to stop with the backpack and everything. Got out. Uh, he asked me where I was going, said Cleveland. He said, that's fine, because I'm going all the way to California. And I said, I'm going all the way to California. And he's like, all right, hop in, let's do this. So I don't know what Corinne's deal is uh, as far as meeting up with her. She's kind of doing her own thing anyways. So I'm going to go to California all the way from Pennsylvania, one solid ride, and sleep in someone's car who probably <laughs> would be pissed if they knew a hobo was sleeping in their car. But fuck it. Here goes.
All right, uh, this morning I slept in this car. This good old one here. So now, driver I'm with went to go pick up another car here in Waynesville, Ohio. And uh, I'm not sure exactly where he we went to. Hopped into a car and I took off. So let's wait for him to get back. And I guess we got to take a bunch of these cars off in order to get an 11th one on here. So it's a good morning. I don't know where he's going to fit this 11th car. I mean, it's pretty jam packed. Eh. I learned something new today, I guess. Good morning, good morning. Another day. So yesterday, um, we were getting that car on. It took uh, a good six hours loading all the taking all the cars off and loading the car back on. Got on the road. Uh, got a call from Karen, that girl I was supposed to meet up with, and uh, she was ahead of us, and it uh, just worked out. We ended up meeting up, so she got in the truck with us. We got all the way past Kansas City. I don't know where we are now. Just outside of Kansas City, just west, and uh, she's here. I don't know if you can see her down there. But uh, she opted for the sleeping bag at the rest area. And uh, I opted for the car again. <laughs> I don't know whose car this is, but it's starting to smell like a hobo. So we made it all the way to Aurora today, and uh, my hands are at the wheel of some BMW, some random lady's BMW. This is not my car. Rock! Oh shit on myself! All right, I'm uh, in the back of the car again for night three up on this truck. Uh, when I first slept in this car, it had that nice uh, new car smell. Now it just smells dirty. A dirty hobo. Yeah. But I'm surrounded by other vehicles that are carrying cars. It's kind of like a meetup spot where guys can unload and load up. So we did some of that today. Woke up in Kansas City. Uh, drove and drove all day it was beautiful and uh, Karen jumped out here I think she kept hitchhiking probably who knows what she did uh, we're in Aurora Colorado which is basically Denver uh, right outside Denver rather and tomorrow we're gonna be delivering a lot of these cars to Denver so I did some of that today and uh, I can either stay here I got some couch surfing set up I can do for a couple nights or I can continue on with Terry trucker and uh, he's going through Vegas stop there through Bakersfield I could stop there through LA I could stop there um, up to San Francisco could stop there and then I think he's cutting back east so that I don't know how, how good that would do me but maybe so a lot of, a lot of shit I can do um, but we'll see what actually happens <laughs> 